Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to do three major improvements DIY style on your base using this, 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 oh, and of course, lots of these. Did you drink it? Resist, yeah. So I recently did a review on this Harley Benton 40 FL and I'm still enamored with it, still loving the sounds and everything, but I recently took it to a gig, um, basically right after I reviewed it to tell you the truth. And um, I found some issues, three of them in fact. Um, two of them pretty common, one I'd never experienced before. The first one was action. Now I took the time to bring it as low as I thought I could. Uh, but then I found live that up here, it was a little high. Um, I mean, you know, you get a little more excited when you play and everything. I found it a little difficult, a little high there. So that needed to be addressed. Um, secondly, and this is pretty common with uh, fender style pickups or any with the pole pieces that extend past the, uh, the pickup cover. And that's, you can actually, the string slaps against the poles and it creates an unwanted noise, um, kind of a clicking and basically not that pleasant of an experience. And the third issue, uh, which quite surprised me, uh, I've, which I've never experienced actually with the bass uh, before, was the pickups appeared to be microphonic. In other words, they were squealing when you got close to the amp. And I'm not talking like a cool Jimi Hendrix-esque control feedback, which you rarely have on bass anyways, but like a squeal, like it was obnoxious. Uh, so I had to address these things. Now, the first thing I did was look at replacing these pickups. I mean, it is a bargain bass. So I was looking at, like, say, Wilkinson's over the Roswell's and some inexpensive option. But then I did some digging into here, into here, and into YouTube land, and actually found some easy fixes with home appliances, um, stuff they have laying around the house that costs nothing to do. Um, so I'm going to show you the process I used for each of these fixes. It just happened to be all in this one base, but this can be applied to any base. So I'm going to walk you through the three processes I did using these simple household items for a cost of less than a dollar, not counting the beers I bucked down, speaking of which. Um, and underneath you will hear some music that I did on this bass uh, to show that I haven't lost any tone. So hopefully you learned some, something from this and hopefully you can follow along and uh, well, let's get started. Well, we're going to start the project off with uh, with the action. As you can see, it's quite high here. I figured we'd start with the action first because once we get the neck set, then when we do all the pickup work, we can also set the adjustment of the pickups. So while this is going on, let's give you the, the jazz stylings of TDDB, Sunshines and Hangovers performed with the Harley Benton FBFL. Some people use a drill on the neck. I prefer not to, just in case. That's an area you don't really want to mess up. So take your time. sure you know where all the parts came off of and how they go back on together again. As you can see here, there's two sets of holes. It's the back holes that you want to concentrate on. That's where your shim's going to go, not at the front, at the back. A lot of people will bring it right to the back of the cavity. I don't suggest that either. Just right over top of the screw holes. Now we grab our papier d'aluminum, which is French for tin foil. Grab yourself a hardy piece. You won't be using much, but you'll be using the leftovers later. Here you just want to kind of measure things out. Just rough cut about the size of the cavity. It's pretty easy to cut, so you don't worry about it too much. Once you get that, 
get your screw hole width and fold the tin foil. Remember, a little goes a long way. You might have to repeat this process a few times to get your ultimate height. But hey, that's what the frosty ones in the fridge are for. Enjoy your DIY projects. Take your time. That's perhaps a section I could have cut, but hey, this was done in one take, 10 minutes. It's tough playing 10 minutes straight. Alright, once you've guesstimated your height and your shim, you put your neck back on. Put on, I suggest, the E and the G string. Just tight to tension, not in tune. And check your height. Again, you might have to repeat this process. I can already tell it's going to be a little low. I put too much shim in there. right if you got a string wider use it not sure what I was thinking there reason I didn't fast forward this part. As you can see it's resting right on the fretboard. Now, I have to remember that will adjust a bit when you put all the four strings on and tune them but still the shims too much. Oh well take two. I like to use tools in different ways, but uh, no, string runner does not work on the screwdriver. So we're just going to shave it a little bit off here, just one little chunk. Again, it's a guess. I'm hoping I get it right this time. But as you can see, a little tiny bit really does go a long way. So we'll just trim that up and get her back in and see if we got it right this time. The nice thing is you've already got the screw holes in the tin foil, so it's even easier to line up. That's looking a lot better. All right, now that that's done, we're going to move on to the getting rid of the microphonic squeal that I was talking about. Now, a lot of people will take the pickups right out and immerse them in a crock pot of, of wax. I, it's really not necessary to do that. And who wants to ruin a crock pot? I mean, I cook a lot with that. So you just remove the foam back and you're just going to do the underside of the pickup. Carefully remove it here because he will be reusing that obviously. I 
Remember, you're doing the back side of the pickup here. Start my little thing. There's your tinfoil coming back into play. You don't want to drip wax on your body, obviously. So position there, and they're nice. And there you go. And that's a nice spa fresh. Any paraffin based candle will work just fine. Now it's time to accumulate some wax. That's always safe, having cloth under flame. Probably shouldn't use a metal spoon because it did stick to the magnets a little bit, but minor inconvenience. So about a teaspoon total. Just cover the entirety of the bottom. Spread it out best you can. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. Just cover everything. This will prevent any rattling which causes the microphonics. Clean her up a little bit with your fingers. All right, now you're gonna see that cute little hair dryer that I never use. Put it on a low setting and just go to town. What you want is the wax to soak into the poles and into the pickup. So let her rip. You'll see it kind of gets clear and soaks right in. Just let her sit for a bit and dry. Now you're ready to put the foam back in and reassemble your pickup. So just place it, you know where it was. Make sure you spin the wires, the wires back the way they were. If you ever forget, take a picture beforehand so you know. There you go. Clean up your mess. Now here comes the second pickup fix before we put on the cover. We're going to make try to make those poles even with the top of the pickup cover. Now to get rid of that slappy slapping the strings against the poles when you're playing, which is very common. I certainly do it, so do a lot of other players I've seen. So just eyeball your cuts, pretty thin because you just want to go from the edge of the plastic to the poles. As you can see here, I've cut two. Carefully place the cover on so that the paper doesn't go over the poles and you're done. Now it's time to remount your pickups. get them in the rough and we'll do our measurement after. About 3.25 millimeters is a pretty standard height uh, on both ends so make it even. Make sure they're also that it's level that one side of the pickup isn't higher than the other but that's mix and match and taste. You'll figure that out on your own. Well, that about wraps up another episode of the Day Drinking Bassist. Um, all those fixes worked for me. Is hopefully the uh, musical smooth jazz accompaniment behind the uh, fixes uh, can attest to. Um, hopefully it works for you as well. 
If not, remember I had a few beers when I did it, and I can't afford a lawyer, so don't sue. We'll see you next time on a day drinking basis. Peace out.